girls and boys thank you for tuning into my channel my name is aduki with a y and you are watching story time hey there this channel is all about children's books and i am here to share teach and inspire remember to subscribe and like this video on today's episode we will be reading Riley Knows He Can. This book is written by Davina Hamilton. It is illustrated by Elena Reynoso. Look at Riley on the cover of the book. He's wearing a crown. Let's see what the story is all about. Riley was nervous. Today was the day. He get on the stage in his first school play. Raleigh was going to play a wise king who helped his kingdom to fix everything. The king was a wonderful part to play and Riley had practiced his lines every day. But now that the day was finally here, Riley felt like he wanted to disappear. His big sister, Ella, told him, You'll be just fine. Remember, I helped you to practice your lines. I know, muttered Riley, but what if I freeze? Or what if I walk on the stage and I sneeze? Relax, Ella told him. Let's get one thing straight. I know you can do this. You're going to be great. You're clever and smart. You can be anything. You're going to be the most wonderful king. Riley began to feel less in a muddle. Remember, said Ella, as she gave him a cuddle. If you start feeling nervous, this is the plan. Say in your head, I can do this. I can. Riley didn't feel scared anymore. He knew he could do it. In fact, he was sure. Then, Daddy appeared and said, Time to go. You can't be late for your first big show. Daddy walked Riley and Ella to school. The sunshine was out but the breeze made it cool. I'm so excited, Daddy said with a smile. Riley, you'll be on stage in a while. Suddenly, Riley was nervous again. His play was starting at 10 a.m. But then he remembered his big sister's plan. So he said in his head, I can do this, I can. When they arrived at the big school gate, Ella said, Good luck, Riley. You're going to be great. Daddy kissed Ella and said, Have a good day. I will, Ella said as she ran off to play. How long till I'm on? Riley wanted to know. Daddy replied, One more hour to go. Then somebody shouted, Riley, are you ready? Riley turned around. It was his friend, Eddie. Bring! went the bell. It was time to go inside. Riley felt nervous. He wanted to hide. But then he remembered his big sister's plan. So he said in his head, I can do this. I can. Daddy kissed Riley and said, Good luck, son. Go on the stage and have lots of fun. Mummy and I will be cheering for you. We'll sit at the front so we have a great view. Riley felt good as he ran into school. He felt like a king who was ready to rule. Into the classroom he went and sat down. Then he spotted his costume, a cape and a crown. Soon, it 
was time for the children to go into the hall to prepare for the show. Riley and Jamie and Tia and John were excited as they put their costumes on. Mommy and Daddy were there for the show. Mommy made sure they were in the front row. The noise in the hall was really loud. So many parents were out in the crowd. Riley felt butterflies deep in his tummy. He wanted to do well for Daddy and Mommy. And then he remembered his big sister's plan. So he said in his head, I can't do this, I can. Onto the stage, the children all ran. The hall went quiet as the play began. The first child to speak was Isabella. She was the brilliant storyteller. Isabella said loudly, This is a tale about the children of Grumpy Dale. The children were always arguing. Each of them thought they had the best thing. Jamie said, My shirt is the best. Tia said, I've got the prettiest vest. John said, look at my stylish sweater. No way, Lucy said, my dress is much better. Isabella said, the kids all huffed. King Riley decided he'd had enough. He gathered the children together one day, and this is what he had to say. Children, cried Riley, stop arguing. All of you have wonderful things. You mustn't fight because that is wrong. All of you must get along. Isabella said, Riley the king, always knew how to fix everything. Riley said, now to end this tale, I'm changing our town's name to Happy Dale. The play was finished. The children bowed. Cheers and applause came from the crowd. Mommy and Daddy looked so impressed. Riley knew he had done his best. When he got home after school that day, Riley told Ella, I was great in the play. Whenever I'm nervous, I follow your plan. I'll say in my head, I can do this, I can. Thank you for watching Story Time Haven. Don't forget to keep smiling and shining. Remember to subscribe and like this video. See you next time.